hi today we're talking about Jupiter retrograde if you have it in your birth chart when you are born uh, and to find out if you have Jupiter retrograde probably half people will have Jupiter retrograde in their horoscope 50% of people because Jupiter is retrograde half of the time so it's quite a normal you a position for Jupiter you know in the horoscope and to find out if your Jupiter was retrograde when you're born go to my website astrolada.com where I have the birth chart calculator enter your place year month of day of birth uh, you don't need the exact time it's okay you know it's not time sensitive uh, and uh, when the chart comes up I want you to check if there is a big R next to the letters of the planet Jupiter in the chart and the letters of the planet Jupiter are J and U of course, you know, J-U and there is a big capital R next to those. And if you have this capital R, then your Jupiter was retrograde when you are born and you are just like me, I have it retrograde as well. And a lot of modern astrologers will tell, oh that's bad, fortune and happiness and fate will be delayed in your life or will be lacking because it's retrograde. Uh, and uh, it's not true actually. Ancient astrology will tell you a completely different picture and I want to explain it to you. What does it have, what does it mean having retrograde Jupiter? Oops, bear with me. <laughs> okay, imagine this is planet Earth. Imagine this is the Sun. Imagine this is Jupiter. When Jupiter is moving directly, as seen from the Earth, it's like moving in the right direction. And it's only optical illusion when it's moving retrograde. It's just an illusion from the Earth. But anyway, what does it mean? When the, uh, Jupiter is moving directly in your horoscope, it doesn't have the big letter R in your chart, uh, then the Sun is between Jupiter and the Earth. Uh, so the, uh, the, the rays of Jupiter cannot reach directly the Earth. They go through the purifying influence of the Sun and through and it weakens the vibration that Jupiter sends to the Earth. It weakens its influence, the, qual the quantity of Jupiter influence. But when Jupiter is retrograde, it means that it has made a full circle and has moved on the other side, uh, you know, uh, the Jupiter, the outer planet circle around the Sun, the Earth cir the circles around. So Jupiter has moved and gone on the other side, so its rays are passing straight directly onto the planet Earth without the interference of the Sun. So what does it mean that we're whoever is born when Jupiter is retrograde, they're bombarded with twice as much Jupiterian energy than people who are born with Jupiter direct. So it means that the Jupiter influence in their life will be twice or even more, you know, as important uh, and focal point in the life of such people than people who have Jupiter uh, direct. And Jupiter, what is it? First of all, it's belief system. It's your spirituality. It's, uh, it's a very important planet, even though a lot of people don't think it is. But uh, if, you, if you have a weak Jupiter, you don't have strong connection to purpose and meaning in life. You don't have belief in life. So you kind of tend to be more depressed and negative person. Jupiter is the planet of happiness because happiness and joy comes when you're feeling that no matter what is happening around you in your life, you're connected to something higher, to something meaningful, that there is purpose to your suffering or that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, the hope that you have, the optimism, this is what Jupiter gives us. So a weak Jupiter in a horoscope will always be a damage to the person, you know, there will be a bit of a wet blanket or it will be more pain to such person, you know, or lacking faith, you know. So uh, when Jupiter is retrograde, it means its influence is coming straight to the earth. So such people tend to have stronger design interest about spiritual matters, about philosophical matters, about the big questions in life. What am I born for? What is the meaning of life? Uh, is there a God? And people who are more interested in those topics, they tend to be way more, um, you know, when they're spiritually inclined, they tend to find uh, kind of more peace within themselves. Uh, and they will be much more interested, these people might have more faith, more raw faith than uh, other people naturally know because Jupiter is stronger. It's, it's um, uh, the idealistic and ideals and uh, belief system will be very important in their life. It doesn't have you always spiritual because not everyone who has retrograde Jupiter is spiritual. They just have very strong attachments to their ideals, to their beliefs, that their beliefs might be materialistic, their beliefs might be that we're all come out from the monkey, so that we're all 
the mothership has beaten us down, you know, but these, these beliefs, what the world is, what the meaningful life is, for some the meaning of life might be making money, for, for others might be having more sex, you know, everyone has different things that gives them a meaning in life. For people, for people with retrograde Jupiter, these things, they'll be very important for them in their life, they'll be always searching, it will be such a, of such importance to have some anchoring belief. Uh, something that gives a meaning to their life, no matter, uh, but whether it's a good belief, which is productive for them or no, depends on the quality of Jupiter in their horoscope. Is Jupiter in a good sign? Jupiter feels great in Cancer, where it's exalted. Jupiter feels great in Jupiter, uh, sorry, in Sagittarius. Jupiter feels great in Pisces. Jupiter feels great in Scorpio. Uh, and Jupiter feels great in Aries and in Leo. So the fire and uh, water sign, Jupiter feels great in those. Uh, much better, you know, especially Jupiter in Cancer and Sagittarius Pisces feels fantastic and Leo as well, but you know, it's um, in water and fire signs, Jupiter, so the quality of the beliefs that you have will be productive to your actual happiness, will be more in tune with divine laws, will be more uh, spiritualizing or more bringing real happiness. While Jupiter in a bad sign, where it's weaker, such people might have quite a few, even though belief system, the quantity of Jupiter will be very strong, so belief system and um, what they believe in, what they um, follow with their heart, you know, uh, will be very important for them. Uh, uh, and a very important top part of their life, but it might be a bit twisted or a bit uh, somehow unhealthy. The quality gets a bit damaged, you know. Uh, and they might have to go through changing a few belief systems and a few uh, wrong beliefs about life and uh, things that they rely on life to keep them focused and happy. Uh, in the long term, things that give them faith and uh, focus, you know, these these things might be a bit distorted, a bit, you know, the quality might not be so good, they might not be productive to lasting happiness, uh, and uh, they might get there in the hard way, but if Jupiter is well aspected, say it has a nice aspect with the Sun, with uh, Saturn, if you know a bit more astrology, you'd know what I'm talking about. If it has more better aspects than stressful aspects, then this Jupiter will eventually be help you to have a very, you know, to uh to 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 find the right uh belief system the right attitude to life the right moral etiquette for such people people with retrograde jupiter no matter whether they're uh, uh good or difficult jupiter moral issues will be of great importance so they'll be always dealing with ethical issues what is right and wrong you know uh it will be at the forefront of your mind if you have a retrograde jupiter to find the moral system and the rule set rules for living your life this is what jupiter is the 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 big principles through which you live your life this will be so important for you if jupiter is with bad aspects you kind of will tend to to stick to more twisted or more unproductive belief system and rules for life for instance i have a jupiter which is in a weaker sign uh in libra it doesn't feel so strong but and it's retrograde so i had to go through i had to change my belief system a bit and my my moral my moral rules were a bit you know wrong a bit twisted but you get there eventually if jupiter is aspected through good aspects uh, and um, jupiter is also your ability to find happiness for so the search for happiness for people with retrograde jupiter will be so foremost to their mind you know that's why they go after spirituality about spiritual uh, uh spiritual activities or social activities that try and help others, that try and be socially helpful, you know, Jupiter rules social activists, uh, rules charity, you know, such people find meaning and anchoredness with such activities, so when you have a retrograde Jupiter, you tend to be more drawn to such more social activities, to more meaningful, more giving from yourself, charitable activities. Uh, Jupiter retrograde is your ability, uh, your attitude and relationship with wealth as well, and uh, money, you know, and that's why it's the planet of luck, it's called the planet of luck, and modern astrologer says, oh, you have retrograde Jupiter, you're not going to be lucky, not at all, retrograde Jupiter means you're getting much more of Jupiter influence, you know, so such people often have more luck than people with, uh, with direct Jupiter, or that they'll have a... Um, uh, very important relationships with wealth, attitude, you know, the, the, the theme of wealth and uh, well-being, Jupiter is well-being and wealth and uh, will be 
paramount to their mind. You know, they'll be always trying to find happiness and searching for it. The quality of a retrograde planet, the quantity increases a lot. But the quality, as I said, is determined by the sign the planet it is. So you'll be looking for Jupiter and things for meaning in life, for spirituality, for higher purpose, for something meaningful to do, uh, for uh, something, uh, you know, that has an impact uh, and which gives you inner satisfaction and happiness. But how you go about it depends on the aspects of Jupiter and depends, as I said, on the sign Jupiter is in, uh, whether you go about it the hard way, if you have difficult transits to Jupiter, uh, whether you go about it in a, a bit twisted way, you know. Uh, so, yeah, please share with us what is your retrograde Jupiter brought in your life? Did it bring you for a lot of people, especially say retrograde Jupiter in Cancer, in Sagittarius? Wow, these people have an inner wisdom about life. They, they have inner maturity and kind of philosophical, high-minded uh, knowledge. They're very, these people are teachers. They have an inner guru in them. They're, they have a very strong moral clock in them. What is ethical, what is right and what is not right. Others go to advice for them because they see the bigger picture. They're like gurus, you know, they're much more connected to Jupiter energies. And, uh, uh, the law manifestations of that, are, that the law manifestations for not so involved people that they'll be very strongly drawn to amassing wealth and to building wealth, you know, wealth of knowledge, financial wealth, uh, uh, gaining more and more, you know, Jupiter is expansion, so that they would be very much focused on expansion in their life, on growth in life. A lot of times Jupiter retrograde will make the person extremely intellectual. You know, much more intellectual and philosophically minded than uh, direct uh, Jupiter. Well, uh, and uh, direct Jupiter is a bit more refined. While retrograde Jupiter is like, its energies are raw. You know, it just bombards you. The quantity of Jupiter is really strong in your life. All Jupiterian affairs, as I said, um, the higher mind, intellectual interest. And not intellectual interest, say, uh, learning new, learning say what's the temperature of water and what's the longest uh, river. No, it's intellectual about the bigger questions, about uh, making connections, seeing the bigger picture, you know, the higher mind type of thing. This It's more increased with such people with retrograde Jupiter. They're more spiritual, they have a need for higher meaning in life. But I don't want to keep repeating myself. So please, you those of you who have the Merc Jupiter retrograde, uh, how have you noticed it working in your life? Share with us stories. Um, have you? What is your relationships with Jupiterian topics of knowledge expansion, wealth, uh, contributing to others, finding meaning in life? Thank you.